In today's video, we're checking out the Fender American Vintage 2 51 Telecaster in this beautiful butterscotch blonde. I'm gonna talk about how this feels to play and all the things that you need to know about it if you're thinking about buying one of these Telecasters. Before we get started, a huge thank you to Sky Music, my local music shop for the loan of this guitar. Just to let you know, I don't get to keep it, nor they pay me to make this video. All thoughts about this will be my own. And being that I'm such a Telecaster man at heart, I've got a few Telecasters right behind me here. And I talk a little bit about how this compares up against my beloved American original 50s Telecaster at the end of this video. Let's get into it. Let's check out some clean tones. I'm plugged into my Fender Blues Deluxe reissue amplifier loaded with an eminent Swamp Thing speaker. I have it mic'd up with a Shure SM57 and a Rode NT2A large diaphragm condenser microphone. Here we go. <laughs> The clean tones really show how versatile a Telecaster is. With both pickups in the middle position on the toggle, you're getting that really spanky sound. Get over the neck, it's a great lead blues tone. Whatever the case may be, great for playing clean chords. Get over to the bridge pickup and it gets gnarly. That's one of the best things about a Tally. Let's try some dirty tones now, thanks to the Royal Flush Dual Overdrive pedal. Everything on my amp is set the same. <laughs> One of the things I always like to test on a Telecaster is how well it handles the higher gain tones. Do the pickup squeal or do anything weird? Quick answer is no. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's wrap this video up. I'm gonna give you my thoughts about the Fender American Vintage 2 51 Telecaster. Now, on the surface, this looks exactly the same as my American original back here, except it is quite a little bit different. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that right now. In terms of feel, the neck on mine feels far better. I'm not just saying that because I've invested in it. I much prefer a fatter neck. So I'm gonna do a full dedicated video breaking down the differences, but I like the feel of my older neck more than this slimmer profile. Now, this isn't slim, but it's definitely nowhere near as fat as what I was expecting. So this will probably appeal to more people. I know not everybody likes a really fat neck on a guitar. This is also heavier than my guitar. So that's another thing to keep in mind as well. So if I would pick one of these up and just double check the weight before you go out and buy it, make sure that it's okay for you. Now let's talk about all the stuff I love. The tone, the pickups sound fantastic. They sound every bit as good as my guitar it handled the drive tones without any problems no squeal or anything like that that's always a test you don't hear if someone's plugged into a Kemper or an Axe FX you don't get a sense whether or not the pickups can actually handle the drive I had my amp at gig volume so that's the kind of sound I was getting in the room and hopefully it translated okay over to YouTube but feel wise fret wise tuning stability wise all the stuff that I like about Fender guitars they've done right with this one so if you don't already have an American original or something like that, this would make a whole lot of sense. It's a nice guitar. The 50 style tally is one of my favorites without question, which is why I have two of them. It's kind of overkill. So I won't be buying this because I already have a guitar that looks exactly the same, but overall it's a really nice guitar that comes in a beautiful tweed case. If you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. Thanks to Sky Music for the loan of this. I will catch you on the next video. See ya.